recording. Becky Lynch, how are you? I'm great. Lovely to see you again. It's lovely to see you. I was just in Piccadilly Circus and they had a billboard of me. That is impressive. That just is what you? we wanted. Just you or was someone else sharing the screen with you? Not just me, right? No, no, Charlotte Flair was also sharing the screen with me. But just like at Smackdown Live, she didn't show up today. So I got the picture. Well, that's good. Yeah. She hangs around like a bad smell, doesn't she? She does, she does. I always linger in there. Yeah. And then we saw buses. We saw buses drive by and they had the WWE poster on them. That's you know awesome. who was on that? Charlotte Flair. You know who wasn't on that? The champ, the man, Becky Lynch. Why is that? I, I personally don't understand it. Can you, can you shed some light? Disrespect. Disrespect. Even though I'm the talk of the entire business, the entire industry, they still don't want to give me the respect that I deserve. They don't want me to be the golden girl. I'm not the golden girl. That's fine. I'm the man. I'm the champ. You, you can't deny it. You weren't meant to be the talk of the industry, but here you are. But here I am. What a line that was on SmackDown. Thank you. So last time we met was uh, in the, the depths of Barclays Center just after SummerSlam. Uh, we'd seen a bit of an attitude change from you. Talk me through the ride since then, because as you say, you're the talk of the industry. This must be an incredibly exciting time for you. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a good time. Yeah. It's been a good time. Um, uh, it, it, it's it's been, been able to take that ball and run with it and, 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 and prove what you've always known that you could do and that you wanted to do. And... and uh, being able to go into evolution as the SmackDown Women's Champion, um, a championship that I hold in such high regard, you know, being drafted to SmackDown Live, wanting to make that the best division uh, in the business. And, and I think for a long time we did. And, make, and, and then this showed up, and then wanting to be the first champion, and then losing it, and then the struggle to get back to the top, and then, but, but having your eyes set on the prize of going into Evolution as a champion, walking out of Evolution as a champion, making sure that you had match of the night, certainly match of the year, um, and, uh, and, and, and having people just talk about that. That is what I wanted, that's what I set out to do. Now there's a whole lot more goals that I've got my eyes on um, that are just on the horizon. So, we'll, and we'll talk about Evolution in a minute because I really want to talk about your match at Evolution. It was phenomenal. But why do you think now is the time that you have been given this ball and you're being allowed to run with it? Because it, you're in such a creatively exciting time for your career and your character and everything you're doing on screen. But why do you think it's taken this long? Because you've always had the look. You've always had the ability. Why now? Uh, honestly, I, I think it, it's, a, it's an inside job, right? And, and um, I think... If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is, right? And, and, and I think that it's been a long time and there's been lots of doubt that I've had to overcome time and time again. And it's been a constant uh, effort to really work on that and, and to know that whatever it is that you have is enough, right? And, and, and it took a lot of reflection, a lot of uh, anal analyzing what what it is that, that gets you to the top. And even when I was over here in London uh, last year doing the Marine Six, which is about to come out November 13th, um, and Shawn Michaels told me, he said, when you go back, go back a star, and go back with confidence, and go back with, the, with an air, like you belong here. And, uh, and, and that's something that I really worked on, and that's something that I tried to do. And um, a lot of it as well is the fans. Now, uh, most of it's the fans, if not all of it's the fans, um, because they believed in me too, you know, they saw something in me and I think a, a huge turning point was Money in the Bank and, and any time I climbed that ladder, the crowd just went crazy and, and I think that people saw that the fans are behind me and, and let's do something with that and then it was that work and that build and I don't think they knew that I had all this angst and all this, uh, <laughs> all these feelings inside of me that, that have been coming out. Yeah. And it's all just been a build-up of frustration. But that's real, and that resonates with people. And people can relate to that. People feel that all the time. And I think that's why it's working, because it's real. And, it, it, yeah, it does feel real. And, and there's 
fans are definitely relating to it in similar way that they did to CM Punk and, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Lots of comparisons being made between you and those guys. Are, are you happy about that? Well, that's it's quite an honour, you know, to be compared to Stone Cold Steve Austin, arguably the, one of the greatest superstars we've ever had. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I take that with a lot of pride and uh, it's kind of humbling. Have, have you ever got any advice from Stone Cold? Have you spent uh, much time with him? Yeah, no, I do. Uh, I, I have I've picked his brain and he's been very generous with his, his advice. Um, he He's all about owning, owning my character and having fun mm. and being real and staying real. And that's because that's what made him uh, so great. He was real and yep. everybody could relate to him. You know, and everybody can relate to this Becky Lynch character because uh, so many people they struggle and they don't maybe have natural ability. I have no natural ability. I will say that hands down, time and time again. I have absolutely no talent, but I'm a really hard worker, right? But then there's 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 the people that they grow up. They're athletic. They're tall. They're beautiful. They uh, they come from a well-to-do family, um, and and they get opportunities. And I think anybody can relate to that. And seeing that person, and even their friend, um, who has just more natural ability, and things come easier to them. But then they're grinding, they're grinding, and they're not getting the promotion. They're not getting where they want in life. But they see their friend is always getting ahead, and things come easy. And they just uh, one day they just snap. And they yeah. say enough is enough. And are you are you feeling a lot of pressure? Because there's a big spotlight on you at the moment, obviously. There's a lot of talk. I don't know if this is going to happen, but you and Ronda Rousey potentially headlining Survivor Series. Should be. Should be, Should absolutely. Be. 100% agree. So it wasn't meant to be the main event, but here, here I am. Here I am. So, but do you, find, do, do you feel a lot of pressure going out there now, thinking this could stop at any moment? I need to maximise my minutes out there and make the most of everything? Do you know what? Uh, maybe no more than I ever have, right? Because... So there's one thing, feeling that pressure of wanting to be on the top and just not knowing, not knowing how to get there, right? It's like you're, you're swimming and a wave just keeps coming in. You can't catch your breath, right? Now I feel like I'm, I'm catching that, that, that surf and I don't want to fall off the board, mm. right? But I'm also enjoying, enjoying that wave yeah. and riding it onto the shore, I suppose, is a good way of putting it. Um, so, I, no, I don't feel any more pressure than I normally do because... Uh, Every time I go out there, and any time I've gone out there, I've always wanted to, to be the best, to steal the show, and I haven't done that all the time, but that's always been my goal. Well, you rode the wave all the way to Evolution, and you certainly stole the show at that pay-per-view. So a historic night for WWE, obviously, a special night for everyone in the company, but particularly the, the female roster. Um, talk me through the emotions of that day, the build-up, and then, of course, the match itself, which... Honestly, it was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Oh, well, well thank you kindly. Um, yeah, that that was a uh, that was uh, uh, that was a day, you know. And I, I think uh, sometimes you you get there and you don't real realize the magnitude that it's happening until you see all the women there and all the women that have uh, paved the way for us, and uh, and and arguably the storylines and the build up. Apart from uh, mine, you know, maybe it could have been developed a little bit more, but man, did that pay per view deliver! Mm. And I was so proud of everybody from from beginning to end. I think uh, uh, I think everybody went out there. They wanted to put their best foot forward, and they certainly did that. And I think the crowd was incredible. The energy, the excitement, and and it really showed how far we've come just and and just ter in terms of social consciousness everybody just it it wasn't it, it everybody just wanted to see the women succeed you mm. know and and there was just a different energy and, and and uh to really show their athleticism their ability and and to care about the characters everybody mm. cared about the characters um and the storylines and the personas and then of course they cared about the man Becky Lynch. They really cared about him. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. They really cared about you. They really cared about Charlotte. I was watching that match. Like the, the the storytelling, the psychology of it all was so incredibly well done. And you mentioned that perhaps some of the other stories could have been more developed heading into the pay per view. Do you think sometimes that is a, a shame with with WWE stories? Because when the fans get invested in a story, it makes such a difference on the night. Do you, do you wish it would happen more? Um. 
Yeah, I think sometimes they, they they're just they're so much, you know what mm. I mean? And 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 so we had um we had Super Showdown and we had uh, Hell in a Cell and we had uh, Evolution. We had the World Cup and we ha we had all of these things and we're going into Survivor Series. Sometimes it's hard to develop storylines to to go into all those pay per views at once, you know. So um sometimes they get a shorter build up and luckily uh, myself and Charlotte were able to get such a a, a long and his his history uh, feud, you know. Yeah. And but I think that. C that was because it wasn't one week or one month or one year in the making. It was years in the making. Mm. Years and years in the making. It's, it's something coming from NXT, you know. We've been friends for a long time. And uh, I think that's what made it so important and so so special. It was really special. And it's, you know, as you said, there's so much content in WWE. It's hard to consume it all. You kind of rarely go back and watch matches a lot unless they're really classic. And in the same way that Sasha and Bailey did it at NXT three years ago, you and Charlotte just created a match that I know that I will go back and watch over and over again. So Thank you. congrats. Thank um, what's got to ask you about Crown Jewel? Yep. Your, your opinion on that pay per view? Saudi Arabia, don't want to go into it too much, but good to get your thoughts on kind of that partnership. Um, yeah, I guess it's uh, something that I really wasn't concentrating on or putting any of my focus on because for me it was all about where I can compete and what I can do. Yeah. And, and if I wasn't on that, then I was thinking about evolution, I was thinking about how I can be the champ, how I can be the man. Nice. Although I did, I, I, I do know that I, my, our match was advertised there, myself versus Ronda Rousey, and seemed like the man got a big pop there. That's because you like, like the man in Saudi Arabia. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let's talk about Survivor Series. So yeah. it's coming up in a couple of weeks, you and Ronda headlining, obvs. Um, are you excited about this match? Because I guess now you're, you're in, in the showing a ring with Ronda Rousey, I guess the spotlight just grows. Yeah. Ronda Rousey is sharing the ring with me. Mm. The spotlight did grow for her. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like I, I've said this about Ronda since she came in, I look at her like uh, like a slot machine. You know, the harder you kick her, the more money's gonna fall out, right? And 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 here we are. And I'm gonna make make millions of dollars going into that coming out of that pay per view as the champ, the only champ, the tested champ. You know, like I said uh, on SmackDown Live, Ronda hasn't Ronda hasn't been tested. Ronda hasn't been tested. Everything has come so easily to her that when she finally meets the man at Survivor Series, she, her body might be strong, but her mind is not. Her mind is not. Right, so so let's look at uh, a Super Showdown. I got my jaw cracked, right? It's finally coming back to normal where I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth. I hope, I might not even be. I think you are. I, yeah, yeah, hopefully. Um, but what did I do? Lace my boots up and I was, I was putting on a show in, uh, in Kentucky, mo uh, Monday night, right? Mm. So that happened Saturday night. Yeah. Monday night I was already back defending my title, proving that I am the man. You are the man. And then, and then on to, to Evolution and Main Event. If she got cracked in the jaw, does the same thing happen? Don't think it does. Possibly not. She's not able to handle it. She's not able to handle the beating. And that's why she has something to be scared of. <laughs> Right, because her whole persona is based on being strong and dominating people and running through them. That's not how I was built, right? I'm I am not scared of losing, and I have been taking beatings my entire life, and I come back from them time and time again, and that's that's why Rhonda has to be scared. If you're not scared of losing, boy, can you win? I, yeah, I'm not scared of losing. Nice. Well, I can't wait to see it. And finally, I know you'll be asked this all, all the time and probably a hundred times today, but what are the chances of you in a WrestleMania main event, an actual main event, last match on the show in New York? Do you see that happening in April? Absolutely, I do. I don't think there's a hotter superstar in the company right now. I'd agree with so that. So why, why, why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? Shouldn't it be the top dog? That's in the main event? Shouldn't it be the most popular superstar in the main event? Who's the most popular superstar? The man. The man. Becky Lynch. The man, Becky Lynch. Well, I hope it happens. Thank I'm you, me too. To it. Becky Lynch, pleasure as always. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Same. Superb.